So Xiaomi has finally released the all new Redmi Note 12 series and keeping up the legacy of the Redmi Note series, we have the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G with a lot of amazing features equipped to be one of the best phones in the Redmi Note series. So without any further ado, let's dive right into the unboxing. Before I say anything, I just want to appreciate the beauty of this phone. I mean the color combination of the white and silver looks really premium. Also the camera module is metallic and it just looks really good. The back is made of glass and I really like how very less amount of fingerprints remain in the glass. So the back is always gonna look clean. The sides also have the metallic silver coating and the buttons also feel metallic because of the color although it's made of plastics. So all the buttons are on the one side, the fingerprint scanner aka the lock button and the volume rock. At the top, we have a 3.5mm port, speaker, secondary microphone and the IR blaster. At the bottom, we have the SIM card tray, Type-C port and another set of speakers. Now at the front, we have the 6.67 inch Flow AMOLED display with a punch hole design. The bezels are also very uniform throughout all the sides and overall, the display looks amazing. The resolution of the screen is 2400 into 1080 with a peak brightness of 900 nits which is enough in most of the conditions. The screen also has Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection and the phone is also overall IP53 splash proof tested. The display is 120Hz in general but we also have the dynamic option which will automatically adjust the refresh rate to optimize power consumption and performance. So I think that is a great feature and we also have Dolby Vision which makes everything look better. The Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus comes with MediaTek Dimensity 1080 which is an octa-core processor with 2.6GHz clock speed. The Dimensity processors are taking over the mid-range flagship phones because of its power efficiency, faster performance and smoother games. And we get the same results with the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. We have MIUI 14 based on Android 12 out of the box. If you use Xiaomi phones, you know MIUI. It's getting better and better and I have always loved its simple and smooth interface. Now. Most of us want great performance and I have tested it by playing some of the heavy games and it was really smooth. Lot of us will be worried about heating but we also have liquid cool technology which really compensates the heating and makes your gaming experience a lot better. Talking about gaming experience, I think MIUI has done a really good job because we have an app called Game Turbo which basically allows you to do multitasking while gaming without closing the game. If we swipe from this corner here, we can access the game turbo and we have a lot of features. First of all, you can boost performance by clicking the boost button. You can also clear RAM and free up storage if that is affecting your gameplay. And we have all kinds of options here, DND, screenshot, screen recording and a lot more. You can even use voice changer effect so you can talk in different voices with your teammates. I think that is very fun. And we also have a timer here. I don't know why you would want a timer but we have the feature. And on this side, we literally have all the apps. We can basically open any app on a floating window from here and use it while playing the game. So performance wise, I don't think we are going to have any problem. Another important factor that we look for in a phone is, I think, the battery and its charging. We don't have to worry about it because we have 5000 mAh of battery and not only that but 120 watts of hypercharge. The charging speed is so fast, I mean, you can just forget about battery and charging altogether. We are getting a lot of battery backup and in the security, we can even optimize the battery uses by choosing save battery mode or you can keep it in the balanced mode. But if you want more performance, you can also choose the performance mode which will prioritize performance over battery backup. If we go to the battery here, we can also see the battery temperature and number of times you have charged your battery today. You can even control the charging speed, 
you can boost your charging speed by selecting this option but if you want to charge in a normal speed you can keep this off so the battery performance also checks off the list with all the amazing features and a great backup now let's talk about the most awaited part of this review the camera the redmi note 12 pro plus 5g has the most powerful camera system within the redmi note 12 series and no doubt one of the best in the upper mid-range section in the smartphone market 200 megapixel primary camera we also have 8 megapixel wide angle camera and a 2 megapixel macro lens and if that is not enough the redmi note 12 pro plus 5g features OIS optical image stabilization isn't that amazing we'll talk more about it later but first let's see what we got in the camera we have quick option to zoom 2x we can also go 4x 6x and even more the 200 megapixel captures a lot of detail and performs really well here are some samples we can zoom in a lot in 200 megapixel and it will still retain a lot of the details I also took some pictures in normal mode and here you can see the results. The results are really great, the colors are balanced really well and overall the camera can click really good pictures. The wide angle also captures really good photos, here you can see some samples. We also have the option to shoot in pro mode for both photos and videos. We have a separate option for shooting documents, very important if you are a student. And I also took some macro shots, here you can see the results. The low light pictures are also coming out really good, here are some pictures that I took in low light. Now coming to the video, we can shoot up to 4K 30fps, the quality is crisp and smooth. Here are some samples of the video footages that I took in different video settings. But the main highlight is the OIS, the optical image stabilization and it does work amazing. The videos come out really smooth and here are some samples. Well, I think it's really great from Redmi that they have introduced OIS in Redmi Note series and I hope it will just get better and better. The front camera is 8 megapixels and it performs really well too. Here you can see the sample and I think it will be really good for vlogging. Some other features that I want to mention about the phone is that the audio is also really loud and clear. I really love these speakers. It has dual speakers and they support Dolby Atmos so they really make a big difference. The side fingerprint is also really quick as always, response is fast and also the placement of the button is really well designed. Now we have come to the end of our video and overall I want to say that the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G gives you a great package of performance, camera and a great battery. We have some great new features like the OIS and improved systems from the previous Redmi series. Some major takeaways for me will be the 200 megapixel camera and the overall design of the phone. I think that's completely worth the price. So that's all guys, I have almost covered all the major points of the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G. I hope this video would be helpful for you and like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Till then, I will see you in the next one.